Businesses in Sioux Falls are preparing for a citywide mass mandate taking effect in just two hours. Starting at midnight tonight, people will be required to wear a face covering inside of a business and public buildings when social distancing is impossible. But as Keller Lance Perry Groten reports tonight, some customers who prefer going maskless will grudgingly go along with the ordinance. We found most of the customers inside Taylor's Pantry wearing masks on the day before the citywide mandate takes effect. But Garrett Kahn wasn't one of them. It's just the, the way I feel about having to uh, wear something or not wear something. So, you know, since it's my opinion. So. Kahn, who's from Viberg, says he'll comply with the mask mandate when it officially begins on Saturday. But he says he may do less shopping in Sioux Falls because of it. I might not drive into town as much to buy stuff. So shop more local and stay more in town. Taylor's Pantry's owner expects some pushback from customers who oppose the mandate. So she's trained her employees to try to defuse any tense situations. What we do is just basically say be as polite as possible. If you're feeling uncomfortable in the situation, you know, grab myself or grab one of our other managers and we'll certainly take care of it. I've been in this business long enough to know how to kind of put out some of those fires. Store clerks at times may have to provide their own civics lessons to out-of-town customers who might not be familiar with the new city mask ordinance. We have home brewing and winemaking supplies here, so we get a lot of people from outlying areas coming in to get those supplies. Um, maybe if you're not from Sioux Falls and you're not a big news watcher, you don't know about the mandate. And that's one of the reasons that we're going to have masks available for when they come in the door without one. Store employees have posted signs alerting customers of the mandate. And they'll know starting this weekend whether or not they're getting the message. We're not here for a political agenda. We're just here to keep everyone and my staff safe. In Sioux Falls, Harry Groton, Kelloland News. And Taylor estimates roughly 90% of her customers already wear masks. She thinks that the mandate will be good for her business since more customers might be willing to shop at a store knowing everyone inside will be wearing masks.